it's funny, after your career finishes, you, you want to go your own way anyway. I think you, I think for me it was like, yep, I just want to leave that behind and move on and, and not get caught up. You know, I think it can be difficult for guys who leave the AFL and have got all their really close mates at the club. They still have that attachment and it's, it can be a little bit awkward, I feel, for a few, but um, yeah, I've just tried to yeah, reconnect with my schoolmates and, and people that I've grown up with all my life, yeah. Hey, I'm Oliver Hanrahan, former AFL player at Hawthorne Footy Club. I did always want to be an AFL footballer. Um, obviously, during the summer, I played a lot of cricket and played basketball growing up too. Um, but I probably felt like footy, I had the most chance of making it with footy. Like, I didn't, I didn't really feel like with any other sport, I was um, quite at the level. But with footy, I felt like I could, I could generally make it. Oh, it became a reality literally only a month before um, the draft, I think. So I didn't do tack cup, just played school footy. And, you know, during the year, you just think, oh, well, guys, just don't get drafted from school. You've got to go through the pathway and do the whole program. But, um, yeah, I, I was hearing a few rumours here and there that recruiters were keen during the year, and I just didn't really want to get too ahead of myself or believe it. And then a month out from the drafts, I was getting a lot of phone calls, um, recruiters coming to my house, and I thought, oh, actually, it, um, it, it could actually happen. So, um, probably about a month out from the draft, but yeah, it didn't, yeah, you don't really think it's gonna happen. Inside an AFL club's pretty, um, look, it, it's a lot different to what I thought it would be. I think going in there, I thought it'd be a lot of, you know, kicking a footy, going out training on the field, um, you know, hard running and all that, but didn't, yeah, didn't quite know about the off-field stuff. Um, you know, you're pretty much training for like an hour and then you've got six more hours during a day where you're, you know, either doing weights, having a meeting, physio, dietitian, um, media stuff, so. Your day, yeah, is mainly not actually football, it, it's other stuff to help you perform on the field, which um, took me a while to get used to and I didn't really know how to go about it and um, early on I was just trying to learn and figure out how to go about it, but yeah, it, it, inside a footy club is a lot different to what I thought it would be. The biggest regret would be just, I think, I should have pushed myself earlier, like, I think I was just in such awe of the people around me at the time and I didn't want to step on their toes a bit. Um, if I had my time again, you know, from the first day I got there, I would have wanted to really just go, hey, like, I think I can play in the best 22 and, you know, compete for a spot instead of just, you know, looking at a Rioli, Propolo and Bruce and go, oh, yeah, black, that's your spot, like, I'm happy with that. It would have been good to actually um, yeah, fight, fight for my own spot earlier. You know, I probably realised in my second or third year I could actually crack into the team, but I just wish I had that realisation earlier. Trade time last year was really, was really difficult because I know in my exit interview, Sam Mitchell told me, look, you're gonna have to wait until the end of the trade period until we know what we're doing with you. And I didn't know, you know, and you're pretty much waiting for two months after the season finishes, so. It's the most, yeah, ner every night, every day you're nervous, you wake up on your phone just looking at text, waiting for a text from a coach or him, thinking, where's my future at? Um, and then you'd go on, go on your phone, Facebook, Twitter, and there'd just be articles and you see a name in there about a potential trade to Carlton, and you're like, I've not heard about that at all. That's the first time I've heard of it. Originally, I was really upset. I was. First day or two, I was like really upset, and I don't think it was because, um, yeah, it wasn't because like I was just, you know, thinking I was going to get another contract, but it was more just because um, I had such a good time there for five years, and it was all I knew since school. It was like I just didn't know anything else, though. It felt weird leaving that place, and I just feel like when I first walked in there, and when I came out of it, I'm a uh, completely different person. So I feel like I'm Ollie Hanrahan, the person now, instead of Ollie Hanrahan, the footballer. I feel like 
I feel like when I used to go out in public or nights out, um, you know, I always just felt like um, I had this, yeah, just weight on my shoulder um, yeah, of just expectation and, you know, always thinking, is someone watching me? Is, you know, is that a Hawks fan who's going to take a photo or going to pin me for um, having a beer or, or whatever? Um, so it was pretty, yeah, it was kind of annoying going out. And then now, um, just being out publicly, I've just enjoyed being me. And I don't feel like I'm, I've got this title next to my name. I don't feel like I'm on, you know, I just feel like I'm me, to be honest. And I love that. And I guess now I'm trying to figure out what, what that looks like too. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, so playing at Werribee, um, is there another way I'd be able to enter the league. Well, I text Clarko saying, hey mate, I'm a small forward and I'm available. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, look, I mean, at the moment, um, yeah, well, the season finished for Werribee and um, I, had a, I thought I had a pretty good year. Played, played pretty well. Um, got a bit of interest at the beginning of the season about being drafted again. Um, but at, like, I was saying to my coach, Michael Barlow, the other night, like, it's probably the first time in a while where I've actually loved playing footy and I've actually enjoyed going out to training and going out to, um, going out to play. Like, it hasn't been a chore. It's just felt like, it's just felt like I've actually wanted to be there and wanted to play and I'm out in the field having fun and all the guys at Werribee are just really laid back and, and cool blokes, so. Yeah, I've, I've loved it there. It's been great.